Hello and welcome to another Daily Fix with me, Sean Paul Johnston, here in the Small Fry Unify studio, as always. Hope you guys have enjoyed your weekend. It's the start of a new week. Should be a good one. Let's jump straight in. I said last week I was going to cover Nintendo's E3 conference, so let's get straight into it. So, unlike the other press conferences, Nintendo has their digital event, and it's a 25 minute this, this time, 25 minutes put aside for it. And they had a bunch of announcements, which was pretty cool, some that I was hoping we would have heard about didn't actually materialise, but we got some new ones anyway. So, first thing we got announced was Rocket League from Psyonix. Now, Psyonix had said that they weren't going to make Rocket League, they had no intentions of making it. But apparently, after seeing the success of Mario Kart 8 on the Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they decided they were going to make it for the Switch. So, they've been working on that, I think, for the last few months. And it looks like it's coming out in this year, the end of this year, I think sometimes uh, around November or something. But they're aiming for 720p, 60 frames per second, docked and undocked. And it's gonna have all the same features as the other versions or the other platform versions. And it's gonna even have cross-play uh, cross with the Xbox and PC. Unfortunately though, PlayStation isn't allowing cross-play with their console, which is a bit annoying. So it's gonna be amazing. Pretty cool, it's a big one, obviously a massively popular title, so I'm sure people are going to be delighted about that one. Now, the next thing we got was we got some more information on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If you guys are into your Xenoblade, you're, you'll know what it's all about. Obviously about Xenoblade Chronicles, just recently Xenoblade Chronicles X, massive title, was amazing. And we've had Xenoblade Chronicles in the past that everyone loved, the story more, maybe a bit more story-ish. So this looks like it's kind of like a mixture between the two of them and that's slated to release the end of this year. So there's no exact definite date, which is a little bit worrying that might get delayed, but hopefully we'll still see this at the end of this year. But that's a big one, considering we're not getting Monster Hunter World. We're not even sure if we're getting Monster Hunter XX or Double X, Double Cross, is a Double Cross? Anyway, we're not getting that here in the West as far as we know. And we're not even sure what's happening with other games across in Japan. So that's gonna be a big title for JRPG fans. The next one we got, we've got a couple of announcements about Kirby and Yoshi, and that's just the titles, they've not got any separate parts to the titles. Kirby and Yoshi, they're coming out in 2018 at some point, they showed some footage. Kirby looks amazing, looks colorful, fun as always. And Yoshi looks like it's similar to Yoshi's Woolly World, but instead of rule as the main focus or the main structure, like aesthetic it's now cardboard and you can apparently flip the world so you can go from one side and flip it and then you're on the other side of the world essentially the board so that looks really nice but it's 2018 so it's a bit away we'll probably get more information as time goes on then we've got two big announcements uh, but i'm going to come to them in a second before i get to those we did get announcements for we've got trailers sorry for fire emblem warriors we've got some gameplay of that as well we've got legend of zelda Breath of the Wild, we've got DLC packs, we've got shown those, a little bit more about those. Looks cool extending the game a little bit more. And then the big one, we've got Super Mario Odyssey. Now, we obviously knew about this one. This was their big feature title going into E3. And I think people were wanting to find out a little bit more about it. It looks really, really cool though. You've got Cappy, he's like your main sort of thing and you chuck him at objects and people and animals and creatures and you can become the creature. So if there's a bullet bill in front of you, you can chuck Cappy and you can become the bullet bill. And then using those different objects and animals and enemies, you can do different things. So you can unlock things, you can open up things. So it obviously opens up the st strategy side of things and the, uh, the adventure side of it and checking things out and looking for new things all over the world. So that is really, really cool. It also showed some co-op gameplay during the Treehouse event where a second player can take control of Cappy and you can throw the cap around and protect Mario or you can chuck it to collect coins so there's bits where it might be hard to reach or to reach over to and the second player can use the Cappy to get those bits whilst you concentrate as the main player. So yeah, it looks really, really cool. It looks like the sequel that people have been waiting for between Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine. So that's gonna be massive and it looks like people played it on the floor, said it was amazing. So pretty excited by that and it comes out October the 27th that's only a few months away which is amazing I think people thought you know 
we thought we were getting at the end of this year, but there's always the, the potential that Nintendo delays a big title like this. To get this on the first year of the Switch after Zelda is a massive plus. Now, I said there was two other big reveals. They were just kind of mentions. The first one was Metroid Prime 4. Now, obviously with the Wii U, we never got any Metroid games and we never got a Pokemon game, which I'll come to in a second. But these are the big titles that people have been hoping for for a long time. So excited about it that people were crying online when they heard or saw the actual reveal trailer, the, the logo, sorry. It's not with the same team, it's not made by Retro, it's a new team, we don't know who it is yet. But it's a brand new team and Sakamoto isn't involved either. So, brand new team, but it is Metroid Prime 4, it is going to be a first person shooter, as confirmed by Reggie Phil's Amy. Uh, Feel me, sorry, I always pronounce his name wrong. But yeah, that's looking amazing. So, well, I say looking amazing, it sounds amazing. The fact that we know we're getting it for the Switch is a big thumbs up. Along with that, we did also get a mention from Game Freak. They did also mention that we are getting a mainline Pokemon RPG for the Switch. That was by company president, uh, Sune Kazu Ishihara. Again, I probably pronounced that wrong. But he did say that's coming. It might be more than a year away, but I'm sure we'll see more information. We'll probably see some footage as time goes on. But the fact, again, like I said, that we know they're coming, that's the massive thing about it. People can get excited knowing that in year two, or maybe even a little bit further, we're going to still have big titles coming, big major titles for the Switch. So this year is looking pretty good already anyway. We've got uh, ARMS just came out, we've got Splatoon 2, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Super Mario Odyssey, FIFA 18, Rocket League, Fire Emblem, we've got a bunch of other games as well. So looking really, really positive this first year. Now, for the 3DS, we've got a couple of announcements as well. We've got Sushi Striker, which is a brand new IP for the 3DS. And if you know anything about sushi, when you go and buy sushi in the restaurants, you'll get a bowl and the different colored bowls will be how much you pay. Well, in the game, you collect the bowls and depending on the colors and the size of how many bowls you've got that stacks, that makes you more powerful and you become a sushi master. So that's looking quite exciting. They've done some stuff during the treehouse. I'll show some footage here of it. But that's a, a new title, so that's exciting. They also showed Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Bowser's Minions. Uh, I think that's a remake as well or something that's been released before or revealed before. I don't know much about it. Looks cool. And then the biggest one was we got a reveal of Metroid. This was during the Treehouse event. Metroid Samus Returns. Now, this is by co-creator Yoshio Sakamoto. So he was the original co-founder of, uh, of, of the original games. Uh, he works for Nintendo EPD. So he's back on board for this one. And he did say he did want to make us a kind of remake of that because that's one that fans have loved. This is uh, based off Metroid Prime, uh, sorry, Metroid 2, The Return of Samus. So it looks like it's based off that and they've just revamped it and they've tweaked things and made them more modern, a new look of paint, so to speak. But it's also in conjunction with Mercury Steam. Now, I think it was about a year ago, Mercury Steam had denied flat out that it was total BS that they were working on Metroid uh, for the 3DS. Turns out they actually were, so they'd obviously just fooled us with that one. Bit of trolling there. So yeah, that's getting made, and it's going to be out on September the 15th this year. So exciting stuff if you're a Metroid fan. Two Metroids in one event. So it was a pretty good showing from Nintendo. I'm pretty excited by it. I would have liked to have seen Animal Crossing, and I would have liked to have seen some footage from Metroid and Pokemon. Even though they're a little bit of way out, I would have liked to have thought that Nintendo would have been working on these a little bit sooner and had some assets or something to show off. It just makes me wonder what they were doing the last year of the Wii U and what they've been doing up until launch now. It seems like, you know, there's a little bit of a gap there and they've kind of not got things prepared. We also never got any information on the virtual console on the Switch or the online service. So kind of hoping to get more information on that during E3. Hopefully they'll get some more information soon. They should really have had that kind of stuff ready for launch and by E3 at the very latest. Still waiting to hear about a browser for the Switch and potential for things like Netflix and YouTube and HBO Go, those apps so we can watch movies or go online. These are the things that I think would make the Switch a more complete system and they'd appease 
and please more fans out there that are maybe on the fence about buying it. Even though if they want to get it, they're probably struggling because it's sold out everywhere. Apparently the Switch went up on Nintendo's site in Japan and it sold out within six minutes. And that was without anyone even knowing that it was going to be getting restocked. So it's still selling out everywhere. This year is looking amazing. Got some big massive titles next year. Yoshi, Kirby, Metro Prime 4, Pokemon and whatever else we've not seen yet. So exciting times for Nintendo. I give their show probably a B, a B plus. Uh, you know, I think the digital event works really well, but I think they could have taken out some of the, the chat and they could have put some of those announcements like Metroid, Samus Returns in the Direct itself. But you know, that's what the Treehouse is about. It extends over a few days and it gets you tuning in for that extra time. So fair play to Nintendo. They've obviously worked that out well. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Now, on Wednesday, we're going to have a live stream in here with Lindsay. We're going to start doing a live stream on a Wednesday, so this is a tester. Uh, it'll be Lindsay playing a game. Let us know what you wanted to play in the comments. We've got ARMS in the studio now. We've also got a demo for uh, Just Dance 2018 on the Switch. If you wanted to play either of those, let me know in the comments. If there's something else you wanted to play, again, let me know in the comments and let her know what you'd like her to play. I'll be back tomorrow for the next Daily Fix. Catch you guys tomorrow. And thanks for watching.